Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Longhorns have put a stranglehold on the number one spot in the polls. This team has maintained its focus. They've remembered the hard work, the effort, the energy, the dedication they put in way back in the summer that gets them to this point. And you just get a feeling that they're not about to have a face plant now. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. to keep Austin weird, but today they're going to keep Austin loud. We've got football coming right up. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. He's to the 20. He's out to the 30. He's tackled at the 35. Kirk, one of the top backs in the country we get a chance to see today. Butler's big playability makes him a threat to score really anytime he touches. I love this guy. And let's not forget about his big offensive line. This is a group that really prides themselves in opening up some huge holes for him. It's also going to be difficult to stop him and keep him out of the end zone because you think about it, he's known for his big plays, the home run ability. So if you can limit those big plays, you got a shot at least at slowing him down. And he gets the ball 25, 30 times a game, and he'll probably get that again today. their own 37 yard line it's second down fires back to the tailback but he can't bring it in you know he's been working really hard lately on his fundamentals in fact the other day in practice i was really watching him work with the quarterback coach and they've been focusing on that aspect of it here it looked like he may have taken a step backwards and really just let that one go They'll bring him down at the 41. Fourth down upcoming as they go three and out. That makes it fourth and four. Williamson is the putter. Oh, man, he took him down hard. You're always looking for the home run return, the big highlight. Didn't happen there, but he still got him a couple yards. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. He has some room. He's to the 40, and they make the stop at about the 49. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 49. Mike three. Mike three. Quick release. Tight end. Incomplete. That makes it second and ten. Back's got it on the quick throw. And down he goes at the 49 yard line. That brings us third and ten. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun.
throws this one out to the right. That's incomplete. Brown was the intended target on the play. That's going to bring up fourth down. It was a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Harrison is waiting for the snap. And he's tackled at the 28. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Has some daylight. And he's taken down at the 39-yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 39. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Butler picks up five with the carry. That makes it second and six. four-yard line. Third down. Robinson picks up about five yards on that hookup. That makes it fourth and inches. Scott awaiting the return. He's taken down at the 23. The Longhorns really took care of business on defense that first time out, Herbert. One of the great traditions in college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. Every drive is important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. the ground with the tailback. He's tackled at about the 23-yard line. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. When you've got the experience that this safety has, you can read plays very quickly and be in just the right position to make a stop near the line of scrimmage. So it's second and ten. Ball in the 23. Caught out of the open. And he's leveled at the 34. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. Quick throw out to the receiver. Tackle at the 40-yard line. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Mike three! Mike three! Brought down at the 48-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. Hits him hard at the 42. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. So at the end of one quarter, still no score. Tied up as we head into quarter number two. And he is 
his grill at the 49. A great defensive end in, in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost save their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. And he's tackled at the 31. Wow. That looks like a generous spot to me. I thought he was a little bit short. First down. It's the ninth play of the drive. Decent run here, right side. That's a game of four. That makes it second and six. From the 27 yard line, second down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Now he tries to buy some time. Brought down in the open field. It's the 11th play of the drive. Taken down around the nine yard line. That makes it first down. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Tackle made at the one. That's good for gain nine yards. That brings up second and goal. This is the 13th play of this drive. Touchdown, Roadrunner. That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. He makes the PAT. A 13-play, 77-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Miller takes it from the six. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a game of seven. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Gets to about the 34 yard line. Call it a gain of one yard. That'll bring up third and two. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. When you get in these third-down situations, a confident offense expects to get the yardage they need on the ground. It's a good job by the defense to shut that down. Williamson awaits the snap. He makes it to the 42-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. UTSA is up a score. Quick strike, and he drops it. From their own 42-yard line, second down. Oh, 
Made the catch, but he's knocked out before he gets back to the line of scrimmage. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. Really one of the very tough places to play in college football, and it's no different today. Throws it to the halfback, and he's got it again. They'll bring him down at about the 43-yard line. Nothing doing for the offense, and it's fourth down. Texas will take their first time out of the half. Wallace, back to return it. Tackle at the 29. Butler's performance for his team generally reflects how the team is going to play. And unfortunately for them right now, that's what they're seeing. Well, Brad, I just think they've gotten so accustomed to waiting to see how their star player plays that they've gotten used to just riding him all the way to the finish line. And here's a case where he's not necessarily playing his best game, and they're struggling. I think this is where you find out really what the team is made out of because you need somebody else to step up and take some of the pressure off your star player. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. hands on it and dropped it. The quarterback threw it right into the hands of the safety. I can't believe he dropped it. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds and those receivers might have been open. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. Tackle made at the 48. I give the defense credit, but right now I think it's more cases of sloppy offense. Yeah, you got to recognize that both defenses have come into this game with the right mindset. They're very well prepared. But I'm with you. It's, it's one thing to have great defense. It's another thing when those defenses are going up against offenses that just are not clicking right now and hitting on all cylinders. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's wrapped up for the sack. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. UTSA is up by a touchdown. He scrambles. Slides down. The crowd really making it difficult. And they make the stop at the 38-yard line. Kill, kill, kill! He's on the run. Now he's going to run and watch out. And down he goes at the 23-yard line. It's always a snap decision when you decide to tuck it and run. On that play, it was definitely the right move as he got the first down after a nice game. receiver and he can't make the grab great first half of action and we're hoping for more of the same Roadrunners with a touchdown lead glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan innovation that excites Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. A tight, hard-hitting, low-scoring affair. Great hey, affair. This, this Great. Is right, you can say it like it is. This is right in your wheelhouse, Pollock. I mean, this, this is exactly in your comfort zone. No, I, absolutely. I mean, you like to see people flying around. You like to see defenses dictating to offenses and make them play on our terms. And it's 
it's fun to watch. It's something that as a great every great defense prides themselves prides themselves on tackling. You know, you didn't see very many missed tackles in the first half that led to big plays. And try to limit those big plays. And when they do get down towards the red zone, make people kick field goals. And that's that's how you see dominant defenses year in and year out. And, and that's what we're seeing today. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we've got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 32-yard line. We're about set to start things up again. UTSA up seven points. Got his man. Oh, what a hit. Call it a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He's at midfield. Makes it to the 41. Call the game 20 yards. First down. From the 41 yard line, second down. Fires that quickly to the tailback, and he's taken down at the 29 yard line. scrambling he's at the 20 he's tackled at the 16 from the 16 yard line first down he guns it and that one's incomplete that would have been a great play if the throw were just a little bit more on target and this play is number eight on the drive. UTSA is up seven. Scrambling around. He gets sacked on the play. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Catches it and he's immediately tackled behind the line. Drop back a yard. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. He's hit and taken down. And so now the ball's turned over on downs. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's to the 20. 
Gets out to around the 25. And they were lucky that one didn't go for more. They looked like they've never defended the option before. The tailback had a ton of running room there. From their own 25-yard line, it's first down. Makes it out to about the 33. That makes it second and two. I got one, I got one. New Mike 52, Mike 52. Makes the catch and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. They're stopped two yards behind the line. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. They're about four yards away here on third down. Gets out to around the 48. Second down. He's going to try and scramble. He picks up a good seven yards there in the quarterback keeper. three yards to get the first down here on third down. Big opening. Tackle at the 35-yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Tackle in the backfield. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. From the 38 yard line, it's second down. Where's 52? Watch 52. 52 to Mike. Red Nice run there. Price gains around five yards on the draw play from scrimmage. We're headed to the fourth quarter, and both of these defenses are still stealing the show. 7-0, UTSA. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Makes it to the 24. This is the 11th play of this drive. And he's tackled the 21 yard line. Butler gets three yards on the play. Makes it second and six. From the 21 yard line. Second down. They bring him down in the backfield. Two yard loss for the halfback. Two yards on the play. That'll make it third and nine. Thirteenth play of the drive coming up. He 
He's got it with room to run. Brought down at the 17. Davis makes the tackle at the 17 yard line. That brings up Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. A conversion there could have really helped it, but it just wasn't to be. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. UTSA is up a score. Smith on the delay. He fights forwards about the 19. Second and nine. Ball on their own 19. Complete big loss. A four-yard loss. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. From their own 15-yard line, it's third down. They're one of the loudest crowds in the country, and they are on their feet. tackle at the 14 yard line that's great discipline and play calling on the defense's part on that series everything clicked for him harrison to punt wallace takes it at the 49 they'll bring him down at the 43 the longhorns coaching staff and the entire team knows that this is the guy that can win it for him the offense has to find a way to get the football into the hands of this running back, whether it's a simple toss sweep or maybe a ball out of the backfield where he can catch it in space. Any way that they can get the football to him to see if he can spring one to maybe get the field goal range or who knows, maybe take it to the house. And he's going to come up with a sack. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Just under two to go in the game. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Hamilton was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring a third and long. Zips it left. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. From the 28 yard line, first down. Gets it out quickly, and he's shoved out of bounds around the 20-yard line.
first down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. They need to find a way to get points this trip in the red zone. Nice run, and he's brought down. That makes it second and six. The Longhorns use their second timeout. Outside the goal line. You know, the wide receiver here does a good job of running a nice route, but I think it's the concentration and what he did at the end of the route that made the difference. He felt the coverage, he knew that he had a man on him, but he's able to keep the defender away from the football and go up and make a nice catch. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He makes the PAT late in the fourth quarter, and with that score, we are now tied. And the way things are going, we might be going to an extra session or two. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20, and he's hammered down. Four yards have been tough to come by for both these teams. But it's been ugly to watch. The only thing you can really say is at least it's competitive still in the fourth quarter. Late in the fourth quarter now, tie football game. And if we're headed to overtime, I hope it's going to be as good as what we've seen through fourth quarter. He scrambled. They'll make the sack. Tries to buy some time. He's out to the 30. We're going overtime. And that's the end of the fourth quarter, and we're going to take this deadlock into overtime. Well, we played an hour, and it's still not enough. We're set to kick off here in overtime. Make the stop at about the 15-yard line. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 15-yard line. Out of bounds around the nine yard line. That'll make it second and four. Rose to the receiver, got it for the touchdown. how you want to start off an overtime period to put the touchdown on the board and put the pressure now on them. They know they've got to match this touchdown if they want to stay alive. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Ball on the 25-yard line. Boy, was
as he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. That makes it second and ten. Just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. You expect this every time you're here, and you're never disappointed. This crowd is amazing. It's caught. First down, and he's out of bounds. That's a game of 17 on the play. That makes it first and goal. up a second and goal. Ball on the 11. Mike three. Mike three. And he's hit immediately. That makes it third and goal. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. Touchdown, Roadrunners. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. Well, this is why I love the overtime rules in college football. Both teams had a fair shot at it, and they'll get another opportunity to try it again. It's first and ten. Ball on the 25. Here comes the pressure. He launches one for the end zone. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From the 25-yard line, third down. Listen to this place. They'll bring him down around the five-yard line. Roach makes the tackle at the five-yard line. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. And down he goes at about the seven-yard line. I love to see a confident quarterback, but you don't want to just go back there and put blind faith in your throws. You need a little bit more time to evaluate the coverage before you release the football. First and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Don't say 
Throws it in a hurry. He's taken down around the 22-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 15. Fires quickly to the tight end. Tackle right around the 14-yard line. Game one on the play. That brings up second and nine. Screen pass gets it to the back. Now it's first and goal as he's knocked down after a nice game. That makes it first and goal. It's first down. Knocking on the door here is first and goal inside the five. He's on the run. And he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. believe this it appears two overtimes just aren't enough for these young men this has just been amazing these two teams have been playing dead even they'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game and he tacks on the extra point This has been one of those games where everything seems to hang in the balance on each play. Whatever the outcome is, we'll remember this one for a long time. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25. Fires out to his receiver, and he is drilled at the 11-yard line. It to his receiver. Touchdown. So with a first possession in the third overtime, this offense takes it in for six. There's no resting easy yet. They still have to stay on the field and try to convert a very crucial two-point conversion. They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. After review, they decided that the call on the field will stand. And they're looking to get two points here. Texas is up by six. And it's caught for two. First and 10, ball on the 25-yard line. And he tackles him hard at the two. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Mike three, Mike three. Fumble, fumble, fumble. Touchdown, Roadrunner. They'll go for two in this situation.
two. So just like that, we're again tied up and looking forward to another overtime. And they need to take the field again right now, so we'll see if they can carry the momentum into another scoring opportunity here in overtime. This one might never end. We're headed to another overtime. Man left, man left. From the 25-yard line, first down. He passes it, looking for six, and he got it. Touchdown. <laughs> so the offense will stay on the field and attempt the two-point conversion. UTSA with a six-point lead. He's going to try and scramble. It's a fumble. And the offense picks it up. First and ten. Ball on the 25. Makes it to the 17. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. He's scared. I don't know. Check that. Check that. We got Mike Pierce with two right here. He's into the open field. Good outside run there. Good run by the quarterback. The thing that impresses me is the decision-making. He sees an opening, decides to turn it upfield, and gets a nice gain and a first down. From the 10-yard line, first down. And they get nice yardage on that run. That'll bring up second and three. This is where having to go for two really makes things tough. I'm sure they'd feel a lot better about ending this if they had to just kick the extra point. So the kicker's going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. This one is over. What a thrilling end for these guys. To pull it out in the very last play, this is absolutely amazing. Keep celebrating, guys. You earned it. So this one's final. Very well played by both teams today. Texas, 37. UTSA, 35. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.